uh, rouge, rouge tinted William. My fiance was a bit of a case, uh, raised in an odd Christian cult, escaped it, uh, in high school, spent most of her adult life working to support her family that was still in the cult. Wow. Eight years ago, she met me. Six years ago, we started a relationship. It had its ups and downs, and it was very loving and helped change both of us for the better. A year ago, I finally proposed to her after we both became financially successful enough to support our own household. Uh, okay, so you both on equal ground. That's good. Shortly after that, she lost one of her close friends, then her grandfather. Uh, we got through it together, and I thought it brought us even closer. Everything was going peachy, right? Well, at this time, Cleo, get up here. Come here. Get up here. All right, just lay down, fucking relax. All right. Well, she fully converted. Okay, everything's going uh, peachy. Well, at this time, her family and her cult leaders saw an opening, and after a month or two, she started going back to the meetings. Since I didn't want to be the closed-minded guy and clinging near husband, I let her go to those meetings. Oh, God. Her beliefs are hers, and mine are mine, and everyone's happy, right? Well, she fully converted back. Her family threatened to shun her unless she married someone of the same faith, and since her cult holds proselytizing as one of the highest values, highest virtues, she tried to convert me. I was going to guess that that's what that meant. I can't say the word, which is basically going out and getting more members. I told her every one of my experiences led me to believe that her beliefs weren't right for me and uh, relatable at all to me. I didn't see a future where I believed in the same religious things as she did, but I did mind, not, I did mind her believing in different things. But I didn't mind her believing in different things. All right, dude, you've been totally honest. You've, you've handled this perfectly, like a champ. Then a month, she called the wedding off and broke it off with me. So I did the do thing, drank, worked out, picked up new hobbies. Hobbies, sorry. I was thinking horse. Hobbies. <laughs> hobbies. And vacationed in the country halfway, uh, half the world away. I was relaxing on the beach in said country when someone from her cult approaches me and tries to convert me. What the fuck? Yeah, what? You're, you're in a different country? How do I get over the love of my life while still staying true to, my, to, to myself, you freckled cunt? Thanks and go fuck yourself. Visit Western Canada sometime soon. Uh, dude, she did you a favor, man. She did you a fucking favor. Get away from that shit, man. Like, like. You can't be with somebody where their, religious, where their religion is telling them who to love, all right? Her now trying to get you converted is because she still loves you and that type of thing. So uh, you, I think your best case scenario of trying to get this woman back is to just completely cut her out of your life. Just ignore her and get on with your life. Who knows? You might find someone else first and be, I want to be with this person, or she'll just finally be so fucking miserable in that and realize the happiness she had with you and she'll go to you. But you can't go to her because if you go to her, you're going to come off weak and she's going to try to drag you down into the fucking dark waters of that fucking cult. So I say you get on with your life, all right? That's the best best case scenario for you to uh, meet somebody new and uh, that's the way you get over her. Just get on with your life, you know, and, uh, you know, when you love somebody, it doesn't totally go away, but it definitely fades like a fucking old tattoo. All right. Um, you know, that's, that's the best you could do. You'll be fine, man. You'll meet somebody else. And, you know, who knows, dude, even if she did fucking leave, you know, did you, did you really want to be sitting there? You know, one morning you wake up, the sun's coming up through your window and you look out and there's like a couple cult people standing there, you know, freaking you out we just want to talk to her you don't need the manson family knowing where the fuck you are and approaching you jesus christ dude please tell me i mean i don't know. sitting on a beach and, and that's like that's like invasion of the body snatchers